That's right, Leland. Despite how you feel about Oscar Lopez Rivera, some may call him a freedom fighter. He is a convicted terrorist, and he did ride down a float on Fifth Avenue in New York City in the 60th Annual Puerto Rican Day Parade. Mayor Bill de Blasio, shortly after following uh, Oscar Lopez Rivera, uh, he was pressured to drop out of this parade, but still continued to be in it. Now, Lopez Rivera is one of the leaders of the terrorist group, the FALN, or the National Liberation of Armed Forces. It's a paramilitary group that was responsible for over 120 bomb attacks throughout the United States in the 70s and 80s. Their goal was to gain independence for Puerto Rico and establish a socialist government. In 1981, Oscar Lopez Rivera was convicted of seditious conspiracy against the U.S. government, transporting firearms and explosives. He was sentenced to 70 years in prison, and he served 36 of those years. President Obama commuted Lopez Rivera's sentence in January. But Lopez Rivera was never charged with any specific violent crime. He was, though, a leader of the FALN, and he was accused of being a bomb maker. The group's deadliest attack was the 1975 blast at Bronx's Tavern at New York City, which killed four people, including Frank, Frank Connor, who was 33 at the time when he died in that blast. His son, Joe Connor, spoke to us about how outraged he is. Is he a hero? He's a hero to nobody. Is he for freedom? No. Oscar Lopez wanted to enslave the Puerto Rican people into another Cuba. Now, the Puerto Rican Day Parade lost half of its corporate sponsors as a result of this decision. Governor Andrew Cuomo of New York is not in this parade this year. The NYPD Police Commissioner James O'Neill also boycotting this parade, as well as Hispanic police groups who are no longer here at this parade as a result of Oscar Lopez Rivera marching. Now, the parade organizers are standing by the award that they gave him, the National uh, uh, Freedom Hero Award. It was the first time they've ever given anybody this award. But because of the pressure, Oscar Lopez Rivera bestowed the award he didn't uh, receive it. He gave it to the people of Puerto Rico and decided to march himself. Still, Puerto Rican Day Parade organizers said this in a release. Some people call him a terrorist, while others think of him as a freedom fighter, as was the case with Nelson Mandela. Nevertheless, Oscar's participation is not an endorsement of the history that led to his arrest, nor any form of violence, but rather a recognition of a man and a nation's struggle for sovereignty. And Leland, this is a U.S. territory. These people are American and citizens and they are struggling in the midst of a recession bankruptcy many of the critics of Oscar Lopez Rivera being here today are also pointing out that it's taking away attention from a US territory that is struggling like it has never seen before and they say that's not helping anybody so that's also part of the criticism today and you had also mentioned today a vote people of Puerto Rico casting a symbolic vote as to whether or not they want to remain a U.S. territory, a state, or become independent, something that Oscar Lopez Rivera has been fighting for his entire life. Yeah, that, that, that vote non-binding, though, would then essentially sort of a preference vote that goes to the U.S. Congress. Brian, I'm interested in this last part of essentially the financial abyss that Puerto Rico is in. Is there any talk among the folks who are out there of the need for real reform on the island and being willing to make the tough choices and for that matter help their relatives and friends back in Puerto Rico pull themselves up by their bootstraps? You know, there are some people who thought that this Puerto Rican Day Parade should not have happened in the first place to send a message to the U.S. Congress and to the American people on the mainland that Puerto Rico is in dire straits, and they believe that they needed that. So it is mixed on both sides, a very contentious issue as to how there should be a solution to this issue. Please. Yeah, uh, contentious with a lot of good folks caught in the middle. Brian Yenis on the streets. Brian, thank you.